Hello everyone, welcome to another video for Lua and Dual Universe. We're just going over some basics. Today I'd like to look at some resources to help us figure out, you know, when you're trying to program something and you want to figure out what some different functions are, what are already in the default scripts, uh, what documentation there already is. So let's take a look at that. To start, we're going to look at some stuff in-game. So let's go to a setup flight chair and press control L. And as you can see, there's a lot set up by default. We added some of these in previous videos, but the rest of these are all default. So you can actually go in and just poke around. You can see what these commands do, like what your down key actually controls, what your up key. Um, you know, I'm not going to go clicking through all of these right now, but there's some really great information that you're going to learn just by messing with the scripts in here. Um, check out the start filter. This shows us a couple great functions uh, that you can use and we'll actually play around with later uh, in another video to kind of mess around with those and see what kind of controls we can we can create. Um, the flush filter has a ton of great information. Um, start, of course, we already just looked at that. Unit, uh, we created these two, but these two are the default ones. The start filter in unit is actually a lot of what you are seeing uh, in your default HUD. So let's close out of this. And if you right click on your flight chair, advanced and we have copy Lua configuration to clipboard this is cool because if you want to take your code that you have all done in one ship and copy it to another ship instead of having to go in and manually redo the whole thing you can come in here copy Lua config to clipboard as you can see at the bottom of the screen it notified that it was copied and then we can grab our notepad and paste it in there. That's gonna save it. So you just save this and then when you want to add it to your next ship, come in here, copy it back to your clipboard. So just grab it all, control A and then control C to copy or right click copy of course. And then go back into the chair you want to, want to add it to, control L. That's wrong. Right click, advanced, paste the Lua configuration from clipboard. We're not going to do that right now. I just wanted to show you that that's a cool feature uh, just to easily copy your Lua from one construct to another. And it's the same thing with the programming boards. Right click, advanced, and you can see we have copy paste here. Next, I want to look at some documentation. So if we press F1, and we've seen this in previous videos, um, we're going to find our codex. We can look up, say, a container, and we can look at linked containers, container hubs. It's going to show us the different elements. Um, we're actually looking under scripting, the container unit. Um, it's going to show us different elements and what functions we're looking for with those, or what are already built in that we can use. So we could use the link name of the container dot get item mass. That's going to give us the, well, it says right here, it's going to return the content uh, container content mass. We can also find this outside of the game. If you go to the game installation directory, uh, you'll find some, some more documentation that NQ has provided us uh, or has included. So you can see here, I have a custom folder, so you have to look for wherever you installed your game. Might be program data or program files or documents. Uh, just depends on, on where you're installing your default directory for the game. Um, but if we go in there to dual, dual universe, hit game, documentation, we'll find the web codecs here. So this is going to open up the same thing we're looking at in game but the web version. Um, and then if we go back over here, go back to game, data, Lua, 
this has some really cool documentation for us as well not really going to go into all this right now i just wanted to show you that it is here and you can work through it um, but if you open these up you can open them up in notepad or your favorite uh, code editor this is just vs code um, it'll show you there's there's a ton of different functions and variables and things already implemented in game that you can pull from and we'll end up using some of that in later videos i just wanted to show you guys that this was here awesome so i hope you guys found this helpful and learned a thing or two uh, just start kind of digging through those resources reading through them and ask a lot of questions until until things start making sense but i look forward to working with you guys again and you guys fly safe